What if I told you that with just one breath, you could reduce or stop your bladder leaks with exercise? It's true. Here's why. Hi, I'm Dr. Kim Bryant. I'm a pelvic health physical therapist, and I specialize in reducing bladder leaks and helping you live your best life. But my son the other day came home with lungs that he made at his science camp. And so that got me thinking that a lot of people breathe incorrectly. So with this, he breathes in and they expand. Actually, that's not really what happens when we breathe. Think about a canister. The top of the canister is the diaphragm. The bottom of the canister is the pelvic floor. Right here. Okay. So when we inhale, everything comes down together. When we exhale, everything should come up together. So if you are breathing and you see the, the breath in your neck or your shoulders rising, that means that you're breathing up and not necessarily expanding down. That can create a lot of lower abdominal tension and tension in the pelvic floor. With tension creates leaks, so that when you jump, when you laugh, when you sneeze, there's not enough give in that system. If you want to learn more about how to reduce your bladder leaks and improve your breath control, make sure to follow, but also check out my Bladder Leaks Masterclass.